Hey guys, it's Warren from Macworld Media here on YouTube, and I just wanted to show you how to make some sweet outros in Sony Vegas. So, um, I'm just going to open up Vegas here, and I'm going to, right off the bat, just open up a whole bunch of video layers, because uh, that's what you need. So you actually just hit Control shift q to um, add yourself a video layer. And as you can see, I've already added a couple more here. But yeah, Control shift q is the shortcut to add a video layer. Then, I'm gonna go to the Media Generators tab, and I'm going to put down um, my 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 base text. So let's just pretend this is for my Mac War Media channel here, and um, I'm going to make it uh, kind of when the video comes to a close. I want it to flash on my logo, and then a screen that says you know click here to subscribe or something like that. So um, let's just uh, type out my my channel's name here, and that'll be uh, probably in Bebas New. This is a, uh, a font that I use a lot of, and um, it's all caps. So I think right about that size looks pretty good. Maybe even a little bit slower. Uh, sorry, slower, shorter, smaller. Wow, I am not speaking right today. And then I'm going to give it. I want to have this kind of have this sort of cool blue illuminated TV kind of look. So I'm going to give it this, and then I'm going to feather the crap out of it so it looks like it's really illuminating. And then I'm going to have a background on it, so I'm just going to give it a shadow, but I might turn down the shadow just a little bit to about half opacity, um, just to kind of, you know, let it fade a little bit, maybe more like 75. And uh, we'll exit out of there. Then I'm going to be dropping in a uh, color, sorry, a solid color. And I'm going to make this black for the background. So the background will be black. The reason though I put a separate background on this than the text layer is because when you actually put a solid black background uh, underneath the text, you can add an indi you can add individual um, effects to it. So I'm going to go into my video effects tab and I'm going to go down into the uh, film effects uh, tab and I'm going to just go on say low quality color film and maybe I'll make this tin a little darker blue and turn it down a little bit. Actually, I think it's a little bit too purple for my liking. I'm gonna just throw a little more into the lighter blues. Then I'm gonna just turn up the dust and all that a little bit, and then I'm gonna just turn up the grain ever so slightly, and uh, I'm gonna turn down the tin just a little bit. And so we had this kind of cool um, look in the background. Now, it's obviously not too fancy yet, but um, that's sort of our, our base our base look. Um, now I'm going to add a slight zoom in to this text. Make sure you do any movement or um, any effects that you want to see throughout all your text layers now so that when you copy and paste it, you don't have to go in and there and you know accurately do it every single time. I think that's about enough of a zoom in. Now I'm going to um, start duplicating this layer. So uh, here we go, Control C, Control V. Um, what I'm gonna do is for the bottom layer below this one, I'm gonna do this kind of cool looking uh, kind of audio glitch looking effect underneath. So I'm going to drop on a TV simulator and I'll just do the uh, default bad sync. And what this does is it gives it kind of this like scanning look to it. And the reason is because the um, vertical sync is off. It's not at 100% sunk. So I'm going to sync it completely so that it only twitches left and right. It's not going up and down on the screen. Then I'm going to uh, turn down the line sync a little bit so it flies all over the place a little bit more left to right just to increase the randomness. I uh, might turn up my aperture grill a little bit. My uh, phosphorescence. Sorry, I've never even said that word out loud. I've always just read it in my head as I'm editing. I'll turn up the static maybe a little bit and that looks kind of cool just as it is. However, I'm going to do something that'll make it look super dope as the kids would say. I'm going to put on a linear blur, which is right here, and I'm just going to make it horizontal. And I'm going to just turn it up a little bit more so we get that kind of look. And then you'll see this looks kind of like that. And I think that looks pretty cool. Might just be flopping around a little bit too much. So I'll turn the line sync up, sync up just a little bit so it kind of does this. There we go, that looks a little bit better, hey? Then I'm going to go into my favorite effect to put on text, which is a bump map. I'm gonna drop on the spotlight and I am going to turn down the focus just ever so slightly 
and aim this a bit more at the middle of Mac War Media. Turn the focus just a slight bit more so it gives it this sort of 3D look. And now we have this cool looking thing going on. I think the background is just a little bit too distracting as it is. So I'm going to just turn down the tint a little bit and turn down the dust and uh, definitely turn down the grain a bit. So now it's a little more like that, which is a little bit more doable. Um, blue isn't quite popping the way I wanted it to. And as you can see, it's a lot of trial and error. And I'm not going to get this right uh, right off the bat all the time. So it looks kind of cool just like that. And uh, I mean, you, you could settle with um, just that. But I am going to do something to make it look a little cooler. I'm going to go to my media generators. And I'm going to go to a color gradient. And I'm going to drop on this elliptical transparent to black. And you can see that gives it a vignette if I pull out... Um, the sides like that a little bit and make it a little bit less intense and that looks pretty cool just like that and um, I've already made another um, project of this Now I'm going to drag the center in just um, right to the center pretty much and uh, I might even drag out these corners just a little bit. And now we have what looks to be this kind of cool Super 8 film um, anamorphic sun glare kind of look um, like you might see in like Super 8 the movie. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> now, um, that looks kind of cool like that. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to just copy both these text layers. And I'm going to uh, just make a slight fade between them and this next one. Which I'm going to write, uh, click here to subscribe. And I'm going to play around with this look. So first thing I'm going to do is I kind of like it looking like that with the, uh, the right and not being totally centered, just setting it off to the right. And then I'm going to go over to Properties, and I'm going to turn down the leading, just so they're a little closer together. And then I'm going to take click, um, and take click here, the whole thing actually, and I'm going to size that down. And I'm going to size down two as well. And that looks pretty sick. So I'm going to just copy that, Control C, go to my bottom layer. Get rid of Mac or Media and replace that with click here to subscribe. And on this one, I'm just going to have to redo the leading. I don't know why it doesn't copy that effect over. Might just be the version that I'm using. And uh, there you go. See this cool looking thing going on right now. However, this fade is boring. I put the fade in there just so I would have something to put a transition on. So I go to my transitions tab and I like to do a flash. Go soft flash. Drop it on there and turn down vertical and turn up horizontal to 100%. And that way we get these sort of side glares going on here that kind of play along with this whole thing that's going that's going on. And I'm going to do the same thing to the uh, to the bottom layer. So I'm going to turn up the horizontal, down the vertical, and then we have these big flashes that go like that. So time to our music. That will look pretty cool. This is also my celebratory video for 200 subscribers on my second channel. So thank you for checking me out. And I really, really appreciate the support that you guys have given me on my main channel and on this channel, uh, as well as on my Warren Weekly channel where I upload vlogs and just moments of my daily life. I'll see you on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, wherever you want to follow me. Or if you don't want to follow me at all, that's totally cool. And uh, I'll see you next time, guys. Bye-bye.